Okay, so just to clarify, this system had a H3 and E3 fault, which are both to do with the high pressure switch. Um, so I came to the job and funnily enough, when I was here, it was running perfectly and I let it run for like at least 40 minutes and everything was working perfectly. The pressures were great. All the components were working fine. So um, what I did was I disconnected the high pressure switch and just looped the cables and I left that for about a month and it hasn't missed a beat since. So I'm, I'm thinking that the old switch might have just been a little bit dicky because if you test that it um it all checks out fine so i don't know honestly i have no idea must just be a little bit faulty so um today i've just reclaimed the gas to um change that switch put it back in and um yeah but just to clarify i wouldn't be taking out the switch unless you knew 100 percent that the unit didn't have a, a problem so i made sure that everything was working good and the pressures are fine before i disconnected the old one so that was the only way i could really rectify sorry that was the only way i could really diagnose the problem um because it was intermittent and it wasn't doing it when I was here. So um, I put um, like fibro around so I didn't burn anything. Um, to be honest, I should have used like an oxy torch to get a, like a more acute flame for that. But my acetylene bottle ran out um, like two days ago and I haven't changed it over yet. So. It's not the best thing to do, use map gas, but um, that's all I had. But yeah, all good. Everything's sweet. So I'm just, I've just vacked it. About to gas it up now and test it. Up and down. Down or up? Yeah. Yep. And then just press the enter. Thanks, Mitch. I can't find it, mate. I'm still <laughs> somewhere. No worries, mate. All good. All good, so we'll just let that run, see what happens. But it ran for like honestly a good month without it tripping on another high pressure fault. So I'm pretty confident that we should be good. <laughs> 